Hi guys, so let's now take a look at the terms of trade. So this is a really important concept when it comes to international economics. It helps us to understand how many exports need to be sent overseas to receive a, good, a given quantity of imports. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, it calculates the ratio between export prices and import prices, quite simply. And it then tells us whether that ratio is improving or whether it's worsening. Okay, so it does this via the index of terms of trade, uh, which is the index of export prices divided by the index of import prices multiplied by 100. So given that it is an index, both numbers will begin at 100. There are, of course, a number of uh, limitations to using such a model, such as when do you actually choose a base year. When you actually choose that base year, of course, that could be reflected by the given exchange rate, the given time, or the uh, likely demand conditions for a uh, particular product, as well as inflation that has uh, taken place in the run-up to that period being chosen. But nevertheless, uh, a weighted basket will be taken to reflect uh, the diverse nature of exports and imports that uh, both leave the country and enter the country respectively. Okay, so if we just consider this scenario here where we've got our export prices uh, in year one. Um, now, at the end of year one, from a base of 100, imagine that the export prices have actually risen, that given basket of export prices has risen from 100 to 102. Uh, meanwhile, the import prices become slightly cheaper as an overall basket, and their index has actually gone down to 99. Well, what does that actually illustrate to us uh, for this, uh, this country actually facing this? Well, if we then put that figure through this calculation, multiply it by 100, we get an outcome of 103. So really, this shows that the actual index of export prices over the index of import prices is improving. The terms of trade is improving and less exports need to be sent overseas to receive that given quantity of import prices in such a scenario. Okay, so it's relatively straightforward to calculate as we can see there. And then we can consider year two and we can see that there uh, has continued to be a price rise uh, or amongst export prices. So export prices have now gone from 102 to 105 on our index. Meanwhile, import prices have gone from 99 to 101. Okay, so when we put these numbers into this calculation, then we'd, uh, if we just round it up slightly, we would get 104. So once again, we see that the terms of trade are continuing to improve, and therefore the number of exports that need to be sent overseas to receive that given basket of imports is again that much more reduced okay uh, is this a good thing is it a bad thing well it really does depend okay uh, and we'll come on to that in just a moment so let's run through some of the key principles here that firstly if export prices rise faster than import prices terms of trade rise and we can see that within this nice simple calculation that we've done uh, meanwhile, if import prices rise faster than export prices, then terms of trade will actually fall. Okay, so the exact opposite scenario would mean that your terms of trade are falling and therefore you might end up with perhaps a terms of trade of 99. Now, what does that mean? It, well, it means that you therefore need to actually send more goods overseas to receive that good and given quantity of imports. So you need to export more uh, to receive that given basket of imports. Okay, right, so there's a number of factors that can actually impact upon uh, the terms of trade, and it's not necessarily the case by any stretch that you always want to see your terms of trade improving. Okay, it does depend. And if you consider the short run sort of factors that may actually determine terms of trade, well, it could be. Uh, inflation. So if a country, if this exporting country has a lot of inflation, then well, yeah, we can see the terms of trade are actually improving, but this may mean their actual international competitiveness and particularly the price competitiveness of those exports is actually worsening. Uh, so that could be a real concern. Meanwhile, what about exchange rate volatility? So uh, if uh, the exchange rate has appreciated uh, quite significantly, of course, 
uh, that would mean the uh, price of those export goods would become more expensive once again and may actually um, be significant because it would re uh, really reflect a lo loss of for uh, a loss of uh, international competitiveness there. Okay, um, and number three, demand supply conditions, of course. Uh, so if there is a lot of demand for these exports, of course, that can therefore pull up the prices via a sort of demand pull mechanism, but it could be about supply pressures as well, uh, and it could be uh, reflective of cost push inflation feeding through as one of our uh, inflationary drivers here. Okay, so there's a number of short run factors, so it's not right to say that you always want to see this improving. If it's because of this, that's bad news. If it's because your exchange rate is appreciating and is uh, becoming a little, uh, a little dangerously high on a pegged regime, that's a real concern as well. If it's just that there's loads of demand for your product, well, that could be good news, of course. Okay, the long run factors though, uh, really you need to make sure that you are managing this terms of trade by improving the productivity, by shifting the long run aggregate supply curve of the economy to the right, uh, and that may require investment in technology, uh, but it may also uh, correspond with changing incomes over time. Uh, something that's really relevant in relation to this is what's known as the prebush singer hypothesis. Uh, now, that hypothesis says that LEDCs that export primary products will, ex uh, will experience worsening terms of trade over time. And that is because uh, of the low income elasticity of demand of those given exports, i.e. that you do not want to buy loads more oil uh, when you become wealthier. Yes, you might do a little bit more uh, traveling, but you won't do loads more. But those given countries will want to import lots of manufactured goods. And as such, as they become wealthier, uh, the demand for those import prices rises and changing incomes can therefore have a big impact on terms of trade. Okay, great stuff, guys. See you next time.